And we're back on our show this Monday. Great to have uh, Warren Morris with us, the former LSU baseball star. Uh, it's hard to believe it's been 20 years since that famous walk-off championship winning home run that propelled LSU to a college baseball championship. So, Warren, good to have you. Yeah, thanks for inviting me. ESPN Films, SEC Story, doing this documentary on that home run, and I think it uh, airs June 30th, right? It does, on the SEC Network. It'll be 8 o'clock on June 30th, so I'm really excited. Yeah. Uh, you know, just I, I still pinch myself that they're going to do a story <laughs> about, you know, me and our team, and yeah. uh, 20, 20 years later, people are still talking about it, so oh, it's yeah. been fun. Tell us, um, again, you'll be leaving for Omaha Father's Day. We were just talking about yeah. that. And it's, it's, it's sad that LSU's baseball team will not be in Omaha with you. Yeah, um, and the, the premiere of the movie is actually going to be at a theater there in Omaha. Mm -hmm. So, uh, And then Easton Sports has an event that they've invited me to come to with Coach Burtman. So, yeah, I was planning on going to Omaha, and it was looking like my Tigers were going to uh -huh. be there. But a uh, tough game last night, but really a great season. Yeah, still, they won almost uh, right around 50 wins. Right. You, you have that many wins, you've had a good year. Oh, yeah. And, I mean, to lose eight of the nine position players from the year before. That's impressive oh, now, yeah. isn't it? It is, and a lot of new guys stepped up. So, I, I mean, the future is very bright there. They are uh, young players, mm -hmm. so you're right. Well, what did you think when uh, <laughs> the SEC ESPN film said, hey, we want to do this documentary on your famous home run? What was your reaction? Uh, they asked me, yeah, they called me back in October uh -huh. and said they had the idea and wanted to know if I was interested. Here's a video of the famous yeah. home run. I'm sure you, you <laughs> I've get seen tired that of, a few times. Yeah, do you get tired of No, watching? no, I, I like it. It always ends well. So <laughs> well, that's good absolutely. Thing. <laughs> what is it, the biggest ending. moment in college baseball history? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I mean, people over those 20 years, they all want to come up and tell me, especially LSU fans, what they were doing, who oh, they yeah. were with. They and, remember. Yeah, they want to tell the story, and I mean, that's fun for me to hear. So I've met, I don't know, hundreds, thousands of people in those 20 years just that wouldn't have a reason to come up and yeah. talk to me otherwise. And uh, leading up to that, you had uh, a broken bone in your right. You hadn't played a whole lot that right. year. And uh, I think it was the only home run you hit that year. It was. It was. It, I guess maybe ironic because our team at that point had broken all kinds of home run records at LSU yeah. and I didn't have any. Of course, <laughs> I didn't play a lot, but uh, right. to end the season on a swing of a home run and for me to be, that's, you know, my last at bat, last that's event as an LSU at athlete. So. Well, you know, what can you say when you go down, you go down right, in right. history. Wow. That's <laughs> what, what a great way to finish your LSU career. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. We had the reunion with the guys that mm -hmm. I played with, and I hadn't seen a lot of them in a while. So it's just been a real special season. Yeah. And, and everyone knows you now, Warren Morris. I mean, they, when they, then they hear you're coming, every, I mean, the kids all flock to you. Well, the good thing is now, you know, YouTube and maybe this documentary right. that uh, kids can follow and know what's going on because it's hard right. for me to believe a lot of these kids that maybe I talked to, they weren't alive when this happened. Sure. Take us through that at bat a little bit. I mean, the, Robbie Morrison, who was the Miami pitcher, it was a good pitch. Yeah, it was a good pitch. And walking up to the plate, I, I really tried to not get too uptight or nervous uh -huh. just to kind of think, you know, hey, all I need to do is just be aggressive. Good or bad, I'd rather go down swinging than uh -huh. be kind of passive. And so that first pitch came, and I wasn't trying to hit a home run, just trying to knock in the run from yeah. third to tie it up. Tie so, it up. Get it yeah, tied I, up. I knew when it came off the bat it was hit well, but I didn't think it was going to be a home run. It was kind of hit low. Yeah. So, yeah, as you see me going around the bases and excited, I'm as shocked as anybody <laughs> because <laughs> I, I wasn't yeah. expecting it to go over the fence either. And uh, I, th I thought this was interesting. Uh, Robbie Morrison, the Miami pitcher, mm -hmm. recently came back to LSU to throw out the first pitch. Yeah, he, he had never been to Baton Rouge. Uh -huh. His first time, he had a connection. One of the kids that plays at LSU, he had coached. Uh -huh. So uh, he came to the series against Arkansas. And, uh, yeah, they, Coach Maneri actually had the idea, why don't we get him to throw out the first pitch in the Sunday game? And, Warren, would you like to catch it? I said, yeah, <laughs> that'd be awesome. And I, I knew he was a little nervous about the whole deal, how it would be recepted. Right. Uh, and I said, you know, these, these fans, they're great. They're going to give you a standing ovation, yeah. which, of course, they did. And they did. Oh, yeah. And the crowd goes wild they again. Did. Yeah. So that was neat. I had never met him before, so it was fun uh -huh. to talk with him. And, great guy. And, then, and I'm sure he's recovered from it now. Put it behind him. And yeah, he did say that. it took him a few years, but <laughs> <laughs> he, he knows. I mean, it was a great game, you know, it was for a great one team game. to lose, yeah. but yeah. And in Miami, uh, the, the Hurricanes are, like LSU, a traditional college baseball power. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'm curious, is there anything you're needing, you're doing now to prepare yourself for your documentary? 
No, I, I guess I, I didn't do much other than they just interviewed me. Uh, they right. brought me out to Omaha uh, in October. Um, right. But you know, they came into town, a crew came and shot some things, but uh, really they interviewed my parents, wife, some other people. Um, How so special. I, I, I'm just looking forward to sitting back and watching it. There you go. <laughs> and uh, we're, we're going to take a quick break, uh, take a look at our community calendar, be back and uh, visit more with Warren.